Welcome again. Uh, this is a Cremona Revival video. I'm David Baird, a violin maker and researcher. And I wanted to show you the preparation of the boards we're actually going to use for the violin and viola. Most like we're going to make, uh, they were prepared out of various boards that were in the workshop, sometimes popular. Um, these we're going to do with walnut. And I have two boards here selected. And the first step is to give them some smoothing. Um, these are actually milled boards, and I smooth them on both sides of the smooth plane that has a very uh, even cut, a uh, very small mouth to the blade. Then I want to mark the thickness. We're going to make this board here for the violin, we're going to make it four points in the old Onkia system, four points thick, and I'm marking that with a gauge. And the other board I marked with five points for the viola. And then we're going to use, this is a scrub plane here, this kind of plane has a curved blade uh, and it sticks out quite a bit. Uh, it's almost like uh, a gouge going into the wood. And here I'm setting the thickness. This particular board is pretty tough and has a, a, a wild grain. So I don't didn't set the uh, depth of the cut very deep. Um, nevertheless, I have to remove quite a bit of wood to get down to the proper thickness. So that goes on for a while. So it's a very noisy process. <laughs> because of the wild direction of the grain in this board, I had to be also be careful about the direction of the cut. Even though I'm just scraping off wood, uh, it still was much harder to cut in some directions than others. Uh, don't really need to worry about tear out or anything like that because the board is really now I've switched to the viola board. This is a uh, softer wood, this one, and the grain is much nicer, it's much easier to cut, so this is faster wood. Also, the final thickness for this board is thicker, so I'm removing less wood to get down, so this is quite a bit easier to, uh, to do the rough scrubbing on this board. Nevertheless, this stage of scrubbing down to the proper width uh, took a long time. And at this point, I'm not even measuring. Um, I've, I have marked, and I can see when I look at the edge like that, where I am. But I'm just taking gross cuts and I'm getting roughly down and I'm working, you know, in several millimeters of depth to remove, so quite a bit. But as I get closer here, I put the boards in the clamp and I use uh, a draw knife here to create a little bevel. So I bevel the edges down to my gauge mark, and then that gives me something very large and easy to see as I continue the scrub work closer down to the mark, because I don't want to dig too deep and go too far, um, so I provide these little bevels on the edge. So this, here I am using the draw knife to put those bevels on all four edges of both boards. I think that's the uh, viola board right there. And then we have the violin board. Okay, so when that's done, then I go back to the scrub plane. And because of the bevel, it's easy for me just to look at the side of the board and see where I can rip off more wood. And then I can feel and also find where there's heavy thickness to remove. And that's what you're doing with the scrub plane. You're just scrubbing off the gross thickness, getting roughly down to the board you want. Here I am continuing the same process with the viola board. Again, the board was a lot easier to work with. Now we're getting close, so I'm moving away from the scrub plane, I'm moving to this uh, jack plane. This plane is both kind of longish and kind of broadish, which helps it find flatness. Uh, it's not like something for finding perfect flatness to make a joint, but rough flatness. And it has a wide mouth. It's almost like the scrub plane in the sense that you have a wide mouth and a somewhat curved blade and you're cutting fairly deeply, but not nearly as deeply. Uh, but this is still an aggressive plane that takes wood down fairly quickly. But at the same time, given its shape, it also helps the board find its flatness. And here I'm sort of checking to see that the board is basically flat. I'm not aiming for perfection in this situation. Now I've got some calipers here. 
I've set the calipers on this one for five points again in the old Onkia system, and I'm seeing that my board clears this because I want my board to be just a little less than five points. I'm not that particular, but I have a rough need for the width. Since we got there with the um, viola board, now we're doing the same idea with the violin board. We're using this jack plane to uh, finish taking the uh, height down just the last little bit and smoothing the board at the same time and helping it find flatness at the same time. Again, this is a much more difficult grain to work with. Uh, that's why I have to back the blade out and to reset the blade once again for this board uh, because I couldn't take as much wood on a stroke as I could with the other board. Once done, I took this smoothing plane to both boards and there we have them, the viola and violin boards ready to go.